I'm conducting an experiment. I noticed on a video I made the other day when I was sitting here doing a vlog, talking, griping really, ranting I should say, about some of the TV ads and stuff. But I noticed, even though I'm way up here on the front porch of my house, 80, 80 yards away from the highway down there, the, the noise from passing cars was really annoying. My microphone's picking up long distance background noise. It really exaggerated. I don't know if there's a, a way to adjust the volume input on this cam, handy cam or not. Not a lot of cars passing at the moment. We're just talking to one passage where we can compare it. What I'm comparing is I've got my GoPro running right here beside us. And I'll put the sound tracks together and see if the GoPro sound sounds better with the Sony Handycam footage than the sound the Sony Handycam is producing. Now, to my ear, that car that just passed wasn't extremely loud at all. The other day, the wind chimes were clanging, and so the wind was blowing. I don't know if the wind would carry the noise up here better or not. Got a couple of orchids I planted here the other day. Now, I bought these at Lowe's Building Materials. Bought these at Lowe's building materials. And they looked awful good with this picture. Here's one purple and uh, exotic. There really was no blooms or anything on these orchids. In fact, they were. When I got them out of the pot, they were in a little plastic pot. They were packed mostly in styrofoam and what looked like charcoal, maybe a couple little pieces of bark. I stopped at the Dollar Tree store, bought two big cups and some throwaway plastic containers to hold the bark. There really was no blooms or anything on these orchids. In fact, they were when I got them out of the pot, they were in a little plastic pot. They were packed mostly in styrofoam, and what looked like charcoal, maybe a couple little pieces of bark. I stopped at the Dollar Tree store, bought two big cups and some throwaway plastic containers to hold the bark. So I can water these orchids. And the roots were completely dried up. I don't even understand why they're alive. But I went ahead and replanted them. Although probably not a bad idea, a good idea as dry as they were. But I thought I'd go ahead and document them. Might take months to get some green roots on these things. I don't know if the leaves are staying green. I hear a jet going by in the distance and now the wind chimes are clanging. That would give me something to compare to. And I'll put both sounds in the video that I produce. So you can judge for yourself which one sounds the best. Anybody know how to adjust the input in your audio for a Sony Handycam? Maybe I should be reading a manual. I hear a jet going by in the distance and now the wind chimes are clanging. That would give me something to compare it to. And I'll put both sounds in the video that I produce. So you can judge for yourself which one sounds like this.
Uh, while we're at it, see if I get any action on my bark experiment. If I can get even one of these stems that I planted in the bark to reproduce into a keiki, I feel like it was a success. Something looks like a bud right here. That looks like a bud. So maybe there's hope for it. I don't have my glasses on, but something looks green right here. Maybe I better get my glasses. This bud right here on top of this stem is still green. So there's hope for these. I'm sure some rutan would have helped. The bark looks damp, so I'm not worried too much about watering it today. Here's another experiment. Now this stem from the orchid was no visible buds on it at all. Here's another experiment. Now this stem from the orchid was no visible buds on it at all. But I went ahead and chopped it up, put it in this water container. But I went ahead and chopped it up, put it in this water container. And let, let it stay full of water for about a day and then I drain the water out. But it's still, they're still soaking wet. To see if they'll produce a, a bud that, that way. Even though I couldn't see any buds on them, there were joints in there. I don't hold out on this one producing anything. But maybe through photosynthesis, we might get lucky. Probably a little root on wouldn't have hurt. I had a couple little modules of fertilizer in the water when I soaked them which might have been too strong, I don't know. I hold out high hopes that my new orchids will survive. My keiki. Still looking quite green. Even though it had no visible roots, I'm hoping it's growing roots that since it's been replanted. Ah, the orchid's still looking good with this one and only bloom. Alright, let me go compare my soundtracks on my two cameras and see which one sounds the best with this video. Thanks for listening to my video today.